They say you can't buy happiness, but if you invest in the best wireless gaming headset, you'll not only be able to get up from your chair without whipping your head back in comedic fashion, but you'll also be able to waltz away from your desk and make a cup of coffee without interrupting your tunes. If that isn't happiness, I don't know what is. Now you've got that image in your head, I bet you're wondering, what makes a good wireless headset? Because if you're going to go cordless, you'll want to make sure to invest in an equipment that won't make you regret that decision. The features that really matter are great battery life and a flawless wireless connection, up to a reasonable distance obviously. We also expect nothing less of the best wireless gaming headsets than we do the best gaming headsets. Excellent audio and a competitive price go a long way here, too. Before getting started, I would like to ask you a question. Which gaming headset are you currently using and are there any annoying faults you get from it? Share that with us in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel to get more valuable content like this. Our top choice, the Logitech G Pro X wireless can be gotten for just $200, link to it would be in the description box below, so it strikes a perfect balance between performance and cost. There's not a lot to say about the Logitech G Pro X wireless that we didn't already say about the G Pro X last year. The only real visual difference between the two is, well, the lack of wires. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing. This wireless gaming headset is primarily made of metal, with steel hinges and flexible band covered in a leather red wrapped cushion. The headphones have the same clean black with reflective metal look as before. It's a little on the heavy side, given the addition of a battery, but the Logitech G Pro X wireless feels very sturdy, there's no creaking in the hinges or rattling and squeaking in the headband. Their boom microphone is detachable, which is convenient if you want a more casual look. The G Pro X wireless is also a very comfortable headset. They come with two different sets of memory foam pads for the ear cups, so you can choose between the set covered by cloth and the set covered by leatherette. The cups are large and deep, so they should fit most ear sizes and shapes. They have a decent weight, but may feel a bit fatiguing after a long gaming session. On the upside, the wide and comfortable headband helps distribute their weight well. It clamps down just tight enough to feel secure without causing tension. Much like its predecessor this is also a pretty glasses-friendly headset out of the box, with included additional velour ear pads. This means getting a decent seal isn't just easy for gamers without glasses, velour doesn't have the same isolation value as leatherette, but those with glasses should still feel an improvement. The G Pro X Wireless is a PC-only gaming headset, designed to work on machines with Windows 7 and above. I was extremely pleased with the Pro X Wireless's console performance as well. Connecting it to the PS4 and the docked switch was as simple as plugging in the dongle. The lack of wired options did mean that the Pro X will never work with an Xbox One or a handheld switch, however. Audio on the Logitech G Pro X Lightspeed Wireless sounds just as good as it did on the wired version, only you aren't tethered to a cable. The 7.1 surround sound sounded about as good as it can while I wandered around the various colorful worlds of Borderlands 3. I was easily able to hear when skags were loping up behind me or what direction a guardian was firing at me from. There's also enough low end thumb to make up close shotgun blasts something you feel a little bit, rather than just hear. Now might be the perfect time to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, go on we're waiting for you. Back to our video. Music also sounded good. It's simply a solid headset for listening to music, with fairly strong bass response. The Logitech G Pro X wireless lightspeed have a pretty neutral, well-balanced sound profile that makes them suitable for listening to a wide range of music genres. They have an extra punch and boom in the bass range, which is great for fans of explosions and action-packed video games, but it isn't overwhelming. When I listened to end studies from Seeming's forthcoming The Birdwatcher's Guide to Atrocity, the percussive claps were crisp, and I was able to discern a fair bit of detail in Alex Reed's vocals, despite layers of electronic distortion. You can also adjust the sound profile using the graphic EC and presets in the companion software. What really sets the Pro X wireless, and the Pro X wired variant, apart from most other gaming headsets is its mic. Using algorithms programmed by veteran audio company Blue, the G-Hub software can process your audio through a complex filter in real time, making the mic sound more like a semi-professional standing mic than a gaming headset accessory. Without going into excruciating detail, the software offers two different broadcaster options, 
both of which make your voice sound clear, rich and loud. There's a simple three-band equalizer for the mic, plus individual and adjustable processing features like a high-pass filter, noise reduction, expander, gate, deesser, compressor, and limiter. You can tweak these features extensively to get the best sound for your tastes, and even use a variety of presets from both Blue and several sports players. The mic adjustments are extensive, and you can get excellent sound out of the microphone with some tweaking. In general, the Boom microphone has an outstanding noise handling performance, partially thanks to the noise gate processor on the mic. Your teammates can understand you clearly, even if you're gaming in a noisy environment. The Logitech Pro X Wireless Lightspeed has a poor noise isolation performance, though they do a slightly better job blocking out sounds like voices and sharp noises like AC units. It worth noting that it has a virtual surround feature on PC using the DTSX 2.0. You just need to download the GE Hub companion software in order to use it. The GE Pro X has a great battery performance. Their continuous battery life of over 23 hours should be more than enough to get you through long gaming sessions. They turn off automatically after 30 minutes of inactivity, and you can even adjust the auto-off settings in the app, so you don't have to worry if you forget to turn them off. Should you buy the Logitech G Pro X Wireless? The Logitech G Pro X is a great gaming headset. It's comfortable, sounds great, and has a great spread of features. With it, Logitech continues to be basically the only company offering a gaming headset with software that actually adds meaningfully to the experience of using it. That the G Pro X now comes wirelessly is just icing on the cake. However, as great as this headset, it's hardly the only option. Finally, if you're a serious audiophile whose primary focus is music instead of gaming, you should check out our picks for the best headsets in the description box below. That's it for today's video guys. Check out the link in the description box below to get a more updated price of the Logitech G Pro X Wireless. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you haven't done so, don't forget to share this with your friends if you found it truly helpful. Thanks for watching, see you in my next upload, bye. They say you can't buy happiness, but if you invest in the best wireless gaming headset, you'll not only be able to get up from your chair without whipping your head back in comedic fashion, but you'll also be able to waltz away from your desk and make a cup of coffee without interrupting your tunes. If that isn't happiness, I don't know.